In this video, we're going to look at equations of lines. Specifically, we're going to look at the slope-intercept equation. So in this first example, let's say you're given the line. We're going to find the equation. So the slope-intercept equation is going to be y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. So the slope is basically found as taking the rise over the run. So within this picture, two points have been identified for us. So we're going to find the rise and the run. So just pick a point to start with. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to start at the bottom one, so 0, negative 1. So the rise is going to be, to get to the other point, i got to go up 2. Okay, and then from there, to get to the other point, i got to go left 1. So this means that the rise was 2, and the run was negative 1, so this to the left. So the slope of this line is negative 2. Okay, the y-intercept is simply the point where it crosses the y-axis, and that's been identified at 0, negative 1, so the y-intercept is negative 1. So putting all this together, the equation is going to be y equals negative 2x minus 1. Let's go the other way. Let's say you're given the equation and we want to find what the graph looks like. So let's graph the line y equals 1 third x plus 2. So notice first of all that this is in the slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. So just matching everything up we find that m is 1 third and b is 2. So b is your y intercept so I'm going to mark out 2 on the y axis. And then I'm going to use my slope to find another point. Now keep in mind that slope is rise over run. So the top is the y part, the bottom is going to be the x part. So since I have one third, I can view this as positive 1 over positive 3. Or I can view this as negative 1 over negative 3. Both of them are going to give you something positive. So if I view this as positive 1 over positive 3, if the top is y and the bottom is x, this is going to be up and right. or down and left. So from the point 0, 2, I'm going to go up 1 and right 3. Or maybe I went the other way. So from 0, 2, let me go down 1 and left 3. If you've done it right, your point should match up and you should form a line. Let's look at another one. Okay, so let's say that y is equal to negative x minus 4. So again, writing this in the slope intercept form, we can identify what the m and the b is. So m is going to equal whatever is in front of x, which is negative 1. And b is going to be whatever is after x, which is negative 4. Okay, once again, we can treat the slope as a fraction, essentially. So this negative 1 is over 1. So I can either view this as negative 1 over positive 1, or I can view this as positive 1 over negative 1. Either way, when you divide them, you're going to get negative 1. So if I use the first one there, top is y, bottom is x, so I would go down and right, or up and left. Okay, so we're going to go those directions from the y-intercept, which we found to be negative 4. So from that point, I'm going to go down 1, right 1. Or maybe I went the other way, up 1, left 1. Either way you go, you still get the same line. Okay, so we'll get one more. Let's say we have y equals 4. So again, in slope intercept form, you might notice that there is no x. So that means the number that's in front of x is 0. So it means that your slope is 0. So 0x zero plus 4, so that means your y-intercept is 4. Okay, so because your slope is 0, technically this is 0 over 1. 
So you can treat this as 0 over 1, or you can treat this as 0 over any number. Think about it. 0 divided by anything is 0, so I could do negative 1. Or 0 over 3. Or, again, it doesn't matter. Let me say 0 over negative 2. It doesn't matter. 0 divided by anything is 0. So from the y intercept of 4, the top is y. So I'm going to go up nothing. And then it'll be like right 1. So up nothing, right 1. Okay. Or up nothing, left 1. Up nothing, right 3. Left 2. So you're never going up or down, so you're always going to move to the left or to the right. So this is just going to be a horizontal line. 